Okay, so but how do we uh, register or create those uh, the instance of this TMI uh, callback? So this is actually the purpose of a, a special component, or I can just go ahead and try start to type. So this is a data snap server. So this is a, my DS client callback channel manager. Is a component that is used to register uh, callbacks uh, on the client. So it has a number of properties. So first of all, there is a, a channel name. I'm going to uh, call this channel Delphi Labs channel. Communication protocol is TCP IP. The uh, host name is our local host, so I can specify such a number. The port is 211, so that's that's quite a lot. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this manager ID uh, value. Why I'm doing this? Later on, when I'm going to write code to notify this callback, I want that every instance of my client application has a different manager ID so I can differentiate different instances. So that's uh, I'm going to uh, generate this manager ID in the onCreate event uh, for this form. Okay, so I'm going to actually add this code, so events uh, onCreate. So in the onCreate event uh, of, my, um, of my form I'm going to take this DS client callback channel manager and manager manager ID. I'm going to randomly assign something. But how? What I what I could use? I could have used, for example, a, a GUID generation. But DataSnap has its also its own method of generating. Uh, generating uh, unique IDs. So if we go into the client manager definition and it's quite complex code but inside its um, public uh, constructor we can see that manager ID internal value is generated by a call to generate session ID of a class called TDS tunnel session. So let's have a look when this DS tunnel session is defined. So this is a method inside of the DS uh, service uh, unit, DS tunnel session has this uh, generate session ID. So let me see if this is a, if this uh, is um, if this is a, um, static method or not. So we see there this is a class function so I don't have to uh, in instantiate this DS session uh, class. So let me actually take this. Actually, we can see the, the implementation. It takes uh, three random um, numbers from one to million and uh, uh, concatenate them together and separate with dots. So I'm going to copy this uh, name. I'm going to actually use this code to generate a identifier for manager ID. Okay, so I need to also to add uh, to the users close actually act and do it uh, here, users close, and I'm going to add a DS service unit so it can compile. Okay, so in this way I can now uh, generate a manager ID. So when I want to uh, register callback, I need to call the same method of the same component called register callback. So this is an overread, um, overloaded met, over over loaded method. So it can has a two variants. I'm going to use this first one. So I need to specify a callback ID, and then I need to pass an instance of a callback that I need to uh, construct. So I need to generate callback ID. So let me actually add a variable here, f callback ID of string type. And I'm go also going to initialize it uh, in the same way how I'm initializing my channel manager ID. Okay, so I will have my f callback ID uh, equals, and I'm going to do the same thing as I did here. Okay, so now I have uh, these two IDs uh, generated, and now I can pass the name of the uh, callback as the first parameter, callback ID. And I can actually uh, create the callback instance on the fly because it will be 
released by the callback manager so I don't have to uh, wor worry about it so t my callback dot create and that should be that should be fine okay so at this moment if I uh, run my application if it compiles and everything is fine it is now able to uh, receive callbacks so how do I actually uh, generate such a callback in fact I could have uh, could now start a different uh, project and connect to the same server and send callbacks and this application uh, could actually be able to receive it but to make it simple I'm going to implement um, broadcasting uh, to channel uh, to notify all the callbacks functionality in the same uh, application so what I'm going to do I'm going to add to this form uh, a button T button like this and I'm also going to add a T edit so this is going to be my uh, message so button uh, is going to be uh, just has a caption a broadcast to channel okay and need to make it bigger and this in the edit I will have my message so edit will be called not just edit but I'm going to uh, call it edit message like this okay so if I now double click on a, a broadcast to channel then what next I need to have a way to actually connect to the server so typically what I'm using for data snap client applications I'm using a T SQL connection component so that's my uh, connection uh, with the server I need to use so I'm going to switch back to the bigger layout okay and in my SQL connection I need to specify a driver so this is going to be data snap and login prompt to false and also TCP IP and 211 is correct so now I should be able to actually connect to the uh, server at design time okay that's successful so typically at this point we could have actually right click here and say generate data snap client classes so but there are no data, mm, server methods classes on the server so there is no point of uh, generating data snap client classes so this actually I could do it just uh, to demonstrate uh, that nothing <laughs> has been generated only some uh, units has been added so I'm going to delete this unit because I don't need it typically the data snap proxy generator uh, uses as its um, base for a proxy class uh, uses TDS admin client class so this class itself uh, has quite a lot of uh, functionality so I'm going to switch to the editor only and I'm going to define the variable a client a client that is going to be of type TDS admin client so this is a base class for all client uh, proxies actually I need to specify where is the unit where it's defined it is defined in DS proxy so now I can use it so I'm going to instantiate it and destroy in the same method so I'm going to create an instance of this uh, of this admin client so I need to pass a dbx connection which is a property of my SQL connection okay now I'm going to have a try finally block because I need to make sure that whatever I'm doing it is properly released client free okay so now this class if I start typing it will t show me a number of different uh, functionality so one of it is broadcast to channel so this is a method that I can just specify a name of the channel and the message and this message will be broadcasted to the channel okay so the channel name is actually the same channel uh, as it is on my uh, DS client callback channel manager so I'm going to this is actually in my case it was entered uh, in the, inside of the object inspector is called Delphi Labs channel but it just needs to be the same it doesn't matter what it is so and the message to uh, to send is supposed to be a um, 
JSON value. So any uh, JSON could be passed here. What I want to pass right now is just to pass a string so I can basically uh, dynamically g generate a tjson string and it will have an value I can pass to its constructor actually edit message dot text and in this way I should be able to actually it does not need to be here like this and that should be fine okay so let's see if our application is running I'm going to run it so if I start broadcasting broadcasting to myself it still uh, uh, works but I can actually go ahead and open a, a second instance uh, of this application and I can just start broadcasting but it just uh, is possible to broadcast from one uh, message one message to another message in fact it just does not work all the time and close the program for Problem. So let me see. I got some access violation. Uh, so I wonder what was the reason. Actually, it's maybe a good idea to restart uh, the server and start it again. So we just basically can build old projects. That's fine. Okay, value execute might be not defined. Okay, that's the that's the problem. I need to actually in order not to crash the whole application this function needs to uh, return some value so I'm going to just define a result uh, that is going to be just whatever JSON so for example JSON true create this has to be a JSON so in this way uh, our system should now run let me build all projects I don't have any warnings I should have checked warnings earlier I'm going to run the server and now I'm going to run the client and it should now work as expected and I can just send an create another instance of the client and see that I can actually now communicate so these two different guys are actually communicating with each other so that's actually the functionality of broadcasting to channel if it's it's sometimes more uh, useful to be able to actually notify a specific callback that are there on a specific client connected to the server in this way uh, achieving a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, communication model so I'm going to add this functionality to this demo